And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You like, she, why don't you change your clothes, bro? Why do you have the same clothes on in like all your videos? Bro, I don't think y'all understand, bro. I'm a grinder, grinder, pause. Because like, I be working so much that like I gotta fit all my videos in. Like, I didn't make three songs. I made two songs today, I made one song yesterday. I just dropped my EP three days ago, bro. And now I gotta make YouTube videos, I have to edit, and I have to do all this other stuff. But y'all not here for that. I understand that. I appreciate y'all, no cap. But no, seriously though, I just wanna say thank you Tory Lanez. <laughs> thank you Tory Lanez for inspiring me and motivating me to pursue music. Nah, but on a serious note though, um, I wanted to save this for like an interview, but like my top three artists, bro, is like, cause I have a top five, we're gonna say my top three. Tory Lanez is definitely in my top three or top five, but I'm gonna put him in third place. And then it's So Fago is Michael Jackson, bro. But I really like Tory Lanez because he puts a lot of pain in his music and it's very motivating. What he did to Megan, that has nothing to do with me, I'm sorry, but his music still cranked, bro. Just like with the SSG Cope situation. If he did what he did, I kind of look at him differently. I don't. I stopped listening to him a while ago, so that don't really affect me. But like, if he made a banger, I'd probably still crank it, to be honest with you. But then again, I don't know, because I'm really big on like, the grape word. I'm really big on like, graping. Because like, I don't know, bruh, niggas be weird. And some females be accusing people of doing stuff that, like, you know, didn't really happen. Because for the story situation, I heard that Megan stabbed him. That's what I heard. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. You stab me, I'm probably gonna shoot you in the foot, too, to be real with you. I might really hit you. I might pistol slap you. Some, like, on some real stuff. You stab me, you gonna get pistol slapped, bro. No question to ask. I might even just drop the mag, boom, right across your face. But now, nah, what we here for is we're here to review one of my songs that I made like three days ago it's called chronic and i have a little bit of tory influence in it and i'm not gonna lie i haven't listened to it since like early this morning so i kind of forgot what it sounded like because i just made two other songs after it but i feel like it's a cool song i got a little bit of tory influence a little bit of singing in there and yeah bro so let me know what y'all think about it by the time this drops it's dropping february 28th so if it's february 28th 2023 just know it's out. If it's not that time yet, it didn't drop yet, bro. So just relax. But I want y'all to hear it with me, and I'm going to just, you know, play it and stuff. And let me know what y'all think in the comment section, bro. We're going to pause this. I'm going to say sorry to my neighbors right now. So we're going to play this song now. It's a real chill song, so I can't get like super hype, like poised or something. Like if you listen to my EP, you know, poised that flawless remix. I might, I'm, 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 I'm gonna post it on my YouTube channel for y'all. But that flawless remix, bitch, I'm gonna run to the top. Big Drake shit, how we shoot it, bro. Bitch, I'm gonna run to the top. Big Drake shit, how we shoot it. She looking at me like she want me. I think she a bug. That shit is turnt music, no cap. But this is really a vibe, bro. It's. 
it's not on no sad shit, but it's just on like some lonely shit. Like you just on your like you driving or something, and you just like put picking up some noodles and putting it in the shelf. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> some stuff like that, bro. It's no, it's not no like real crazy stuff. But I will say making this song was very hard because that middle, this middle part right here, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. This part right here. <laughs> right there i thought i said wow bro it was just like an empty space it was nothing there bro because i didn't know what to say like i've been making so many songs sometimes my mind being so much other stuff sometimes i can't focus so what i did was i just took the sound and i just um put like a drowning effect over it i forgot what preset it is but i have it and i put it there and i just repeated what i said before and then i said my other part but that was a song, bro. Let me know if y'all enjoyed the video. I'm about to drop a band lab video on why your band lab songs suck and what you could do to make them better because I done had a lot of trials and errors with band lab, bro. Band lab has took me through ups and downs and ups and downs. But I'll say I'm probably the best I've ever been at it right now. I just gotta work on my compressions a little bit more because every beat is different and every song is different. If you have a beat, Every producer makes their beats at a different volume. So some beats may be louder and your compression or your voice or your gain on your voice may be too low. You can't hear yourself or you're too loud or it's screeching because you don't, the, the bass is not loud enough. I realize when your bass is loud, you don't screech as much because your voice is not, it's, it's like it kind of drowns it out. It drowns out the, scree the screeching. Um, but yeah, that was the video, bro. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. This is my third video, bro, in a row. So, yeah.